Hi, I'm Ken Bykoff. The Hoosiers hit the road to take on Minnesota Saturday night, and Indiana will face a tough challenge to win at Williams Arena. Now, the barn has been a house of horrors for opponents this season, with the Golden Gophers winning 12 of 14 at home, and Indiana has dropped four of its last five visits to the arena. Winning on the road in the Big Ten is always tough, and every building has its raucous crowd that's tough to deal with. But IU head coach Tom Crean says there's an extra special element of the equation when it comes to Minnesota. Well, first off, I think everybody's got a home court in this league that, that, that makes it unique because of the fan support, because of uh, the teams. And, and I think the bottom line is Minnesota's no different. They, uh, as far back as I can remember, have always had very good teams. I think the first thing that comes to mind is the race floor. And I don't think there's any question that that takes a little bit getting used to for a player. And uh, especially when you're bringing a new team in, it, 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 it takes some time to get used to that. But the fans are fantastic. They, they are um, very loud. I mean, it, it, it's, um, it, it's just a great building. I mean, it's one of the great buildings, uh, not only in this league, but in the country for college basketball. But if you had to pick one thing, it's getting used to the race floor more than anything else probably. Now here's a bit of history for you. Once upon a time, IU was actually part of the Rays Floor Brigade. When IU played at the Old Field House, which is now known as Wildermuth Field House, and won NCAA titles there under Branch McCracken, Indiana's floor was raised a good two feet off the ground. See those nets? Those ain't there in case a rogue tuna swims by. They're there to catch basketballs and protect players from sliding off the floor. When IU moved to its new field house during the 1960s, the floor wasn't raised quite as high, but there was still some elevation. In fact, that floor would travel to Assembly Hall when it was built in the early 1970s, and the Hoosiers finally brought the hardwood down to its normal floor level following the undefeated 1975-76 season. Crane hopes his ball club can make a quick adjustment to playing above board and move one step closer to the NCAA tournament at Minnesota. IU's battle with the Golden Gophers is scheduled to tip off at 8.15 p.m. Eastern Time Saturday night, and the game will be televised on the Big Ten Network. For Campus Insiders, I'm Ken Bykoff.